Ever wondered how much of what you know about the world is actually true? Welcome to a journey that will stretch the boundaries of your understanding. We're going to delve into a series of mind-boggling facts that will challenge the very foundation of your perceptions. From the cosmos to our own genetic makeup, from the shape of our planet to the nature of light itself. Prepare to question what you thought was reality. Buckle up for a ride that will challenge everything you think you know. Did you know that the universe is constantly expanding? That's right, the cosmos isn't some fixed, unchanging entity, it's dynamic, ever-growing and evolving, let's dive a bit deeper. This concept of an expanding universe comes from observations of distant galaxies. Scientists discovered that these galaxies are moving away from us, and the further they are, the faster they're moving. This is known as Hubble's Law, named after the American astronomer Edwin Hubble, who first proposed it in the early 20th century. But how fast is the universe expanding? Well, this rate of expansion is measured by something called the Hubble constant. While there's some debate over the precise value, it's generally agreed that for every million parsecs of distance between us and a galaxy, that galaxy is moving away from us at about 70 kilometers per second. Now, what does this mean for us? Besides the mind-boggling fact that everything around us is in constant motion, it also has some profound implications for the future of the universe. If the expansion continues unabated, eventually galaxies will be so far apart that they'll no longer be visible to each other. The universe will become a dark and lonely place. But don't worry, this won't happen for billions and billions of years. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, it's not static, it's in constant motion. You might find it hard to believe but we share 50% of our DNA with bananas. Yes, you heard that right. Bananas. Those yellow, crescent-shaped fruits that we so casually peel and eat. But how does that work exactly? To comprehend this, it's important to understand what DNA is and how it functions. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that carries the genetic instructions used in the growth, development, functioning and reproduction of all known living organisms and many viruses. It's like a blueprint, a code if you will that dictates what an organism is and what it will become. Now, all living things, from the tiniest bacteria to the tallest tree, from the smallest ant to the largest whale and yes, even bananas and humans are based on the same genetic model. We all use DNA to store information and pass it on to the next generation. So, when scientists say that we share 50% of our DNA with bananas, they're essentially saying that half of our genetic code or blueprint is similar to that of a banana. This doesn't mean we're half banana but rather, it points to a shared ancestry and the fundamental unity of all life on Earth. It's a testament to the fact that, at the molecular level, life uses a common language and a shared set of tools to build and sustain itself. Perhaps it's less surprising when you consider that we share 98% of our DNA with chimps, our closest relatives. But bananas? They're not even animals. Yet this fact serves as a humbling reminder of our interconnectedness with the world around us. So next time you're peeling a banana, remember this fascinating fact. It's a reminder of the shared genetic heritage that binds all life on Earth. It's a testament to the fact that we're all part of the same grand interconnected web of life. That's right, we're all half bananas. Despite what your geography teacher might have told you, the Earth isn't perfectly round. Now before you imagine Earth to be some quirky distorted shape, let's clarify. The Earth is not a perfect sphere but an oblate spheroid. That's a term that might sound like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, but it simply means that the Earth is slightly squashed at the poles and slightly bulging at the equator. Imagine spinning a soft ball of clay on a potter's wheel. As the clay spins it naturally spreads outwards due to centrifugal force. This is the same force that pushes you to the side when you take a sharp turn in a car. The Earth spins too completing a full rotation every 24 hours. This spinning causes the Earth to bulge slightly at its equator, making our planet an oblate spheroid. So, how oblate is our spheroid Earth? Well it's not like a flying pancake if that's what you're picturing. The difference between the Earth's equatorial and polar diameters is only about 42 kilometers. To put it in perspective, if the Earth was shrunk down to the size of a billiard ball, the difference would be less than the thickness of three human hairs. That's a pretty smooth ball if you ask me, but despite this minuscule difference, it has significant implications. For instance, if you're standing at sea level at the equator, you're actually about 21 kilometers farther from the Earth's center than if you're standing at sea level near the poles. This is why Earth's gravity is slightly weaker at the equator. So, the next time you look at a globe, remember that it's only a simplified model. 
The real Earth is a bit more complicated and a lot more fascinating. It's a testament to the incredible forces at work in our universe, shaping our planet and making it the unique home we know it to be. So remember, we're living on an oblate spheroid, not a perfect sphere. The stars we see in the night sky may not even exist anymore. This statement might sound like a plot from a sci-fi movie, but it's a fact. Now how can this be? Well, it's all about the speed of light and the immense distances in the universe. Imagine you're looking at a star that's 20,000 light years away from Earth. The light that you're seeing now actually started its journey 20,000 years ago. To put that into perspective, that's around the time when woolly mammoths still roamed the Earth and human beings were creating some of the earliest known art in caves. Now here's the truly mind-boggling part. Stars, much like everything else in the universe, have a lifespan. They are born, they live, and eventually, they die. Some stars live for billions of years while others have much shorter lives. So, if a star that's 20,000 light years away died 19,000 years ago, we wouldn't know it. We would still see the light that it emitted a thousand years before its death. In fact, we are continually receiving these ancient messages from the cosmos. Every night when we gaze upon the stars, we are looking at a cosmic history book full of stories that happened long before our time. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? We are not just seeing stars, but also witnessing the past. This cosmic delay also means that if aliens are looking at Earth from a star 20,000 light years away, they would be seeing our planet as it was 20,000 years ago. They wouldn't see our cities, our technologies, or us. They would be peering back at a time when early humans were just beginning to make their mark on this planet. So, the night sky is not only a sight to behold but also a journey back in time. Every time we look up at the night sky, we are not just stargazing. We are time traveling, witnessing the grand tapestry of the cosmos as it was long before our time. So, how does your perception of the world stand after those mind-blowing facts? Let's take a moment to revisit the fascinating journey we've just traversed. We began by challenging your perception of the world and the universe, and we hope we've done just that. Firstly, we dove into the vastness of the cosmos, discovering that the universe is in a constant state of expansion, it's growing faster than the speed of light, a concept so massive it's hard to wrap our heads around, but it's a testament to the ever-changing and ever-evolving nature of our universe. Next, we delved into the world of genetics. It's surprising, isn't it, that we share 50% of our DNA with bananas. It's a humbling reminder of our interconnectedness with all life forms on Earth. It shows us that we're not so different from the rest of the natural world. We're all part of the same intricate web of life. Our journey then took us back to our home planet, Earth. We confronted the common misconception that the Earth is perfectly round. In reality, it's an oblate spheroid, slightly flattened at the poles and slightly bulging at the equator. It's a subtle difference, but one that has significant implications for our understanding of the planet we call home. Finally, we gazed up at the night sky to ponder the light from the stars. Some of the celestial light we see today began its journey millions of years ago. That means we're essentially looking back in time every time we gaze at the stars. A concept that's as mind-boggling as it is poetic. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of some of the most mind-blowing facts that challenge our perception of the world and the universe. Remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to challenge what you think you know. Keep questioning, keep learning, and always be ready to be amazed.